So here is a new arrival that will prove to be yet one more distraction from a R2D2 building. This is an IBM O29 key punch uh, from the 1960s. Uh, arrived from uh, Kansas, uh, was uh, brought in by uh, my friend uh, Carl Clownsch, who uh, uh, rescued uh, and brought back a whole truck of uh, uh, vintage IBM equipment, in, including two 1131. Uh, IBM 1131s with printers and and card readers and puncher and discs, but I got it was nice enough to uh, get me this one. Uh, you might know from my uh, other videos that I have a, uh, the uh, father of that one. I have an O26 from the 1940s, which is a much older machine, uh, and uh, this one is a more modern one. Uh, will be much better to automate um, uh, but uh, it doesn't work at all <laughs> uh, it's pretty good shape cosmetically but doesn't even turn on so I guess that makes it uh, interesting uh, and I have the whole documentation on it uh, so that uh, should be possible to get it repaired of all the schematics and or if you can compare that one uh, to the other one, which has already exited the lab because it works, um, that's the O29. And you can tell you know, the mechanism is very similar. Uh, but of course, this one is from another era. Uh, this one completely works. Uh, I have a video demonstrating it uh, on YouTube, but I have no merit for making it work uh, because I got it from uh, Frank King, who is a specialist at the Computer Museum for those machines. Okay, then you do release. You want to feed another one or you can do register release. Yeah, pick them up. So if you look at the O29, it has uh, quite a few features uh, that the older O26 doesn't have. Uh, button here to clear uh, the whole machine. Uh, it has an interpret function. So it's a punch and an interpreter. You can load uh, cards that uh, have punch but don't have the print on top. Put them here and the print station will add uh, the uh, print markings. Uh, no, uh, what else does it have? Uh, no more complex um, program. Uh, left zero field adjust. Uh, it's a pretty nice machine. Um, this one has only one, one program drum but there are some with, with two uh, drum programs. Uh, tons of features. No tubes uh, at the back. It's uh, um, much cleaner than the O26. Uh, modern, just relays uh, some of the SMS cards that you find in the IBM 1401. Uh, an isolated power supply at 48 volts, so that's going to be much easier to use uh, if we retrofit it with automation than the tube-based. 100 whatever volts uh, or 29. So challenge will be to make it work.